What up, Internet? Hope you were having a great day and happy Aeternum Date 10.6. Okay, maybe having a universal date starting from the launch of Aeternum isn't the most useful thing. I want to start things off by saying that the following feedback is constructive criticism. While New World does a lot of things great, I think that there are some things that could be changed or added that can help improve player experience. With New World being a player-driven economy, the trade plays a big part in players day to day. I'm sure you've all run across the issue I'm going to present and just kind of shrugged it off because you were in a rush and want to just leave the trading post and go start playing again. Nova. <laughs> Some of the trade post options are very robust. You can search based on a specific gem, some perks that you're interested, or even see the resources required to craft a specific item. However, I think there is something missing and it's kind of a big oversight by the development team in my opinion. When it comes to buying armor and weapons, players are looking for specific attribute sets. The suffix on a piece of gear denotes the attributes that it holds. For example, of the ranger has all dexterity and of the sage has all focus. So if you were building an archer and want as much dexterity as possible, but haven't had all that great of gear drops, you might head to the trading post to buy a missing piece. Maybe having noticed the suffix of the ranger, you try typing this into the search field. However, it doesn't return any results. So instead you navigate the sidebar to find the type of item you're looking for, and then notice that you have to hover over every individual item to see what stats that it holds. Then multiply that process by every piece of gear that you want to buy and you can see where this starts to add up in terms of time and a little bit of frustration. As a simple addition, my recommendation would be to add another drop down like gems and perks, but to list the five different attributes and allow people to click more than one if they want. A more complex addition would be to add a pop-up window from this drop down like gems and perks and then list all the different kinds of suffix so someone can go through and click on the one that they're interested in viewing through their search results. This would match the gems and perks features in terms of style, but would be a little more clunky and I think the former would work better than the latter. It's a pretty straightforward addition and as you can see underneath the perks column they already have a little chevron sign denoting when an item has stats and then underneath the sell page you can actually see the stats that it holds next to this little chevron symbol. So I don't think it would be too much of a hassle to include something like this. Anyways, it would have saved me quite a bit of time over the last week. What do you guys think? Is this something that you guys think would be a good addition? What other additions would you like to see? Leave some comments down below and I will see you guys in the next video.